Dear friends of the Swiss Museum of Games, welcome! Today I speak about Dutch tiles, ceramic tiles of the Delft style with the typical blue motifs on white ground. Such tiles used to decorate Dutch houses from the 17th century onwards down to the 20th century and they are still produced today. There exist several series of these tiles with different motives and one series is dedicated to games. Jan Pleus published a nice book some years ago about children's games on Dutch tiles. This book accompanied a temporary exhibition in the Dutch Tile Museum. The artists who did these drawings, they referred to engravings uh, from other artists, some for, for example from Adrian van der Ferne here. This is a famous uh, engraving published in 1625 where you see a whole lot of children playing all kinds of games. And the single figures, they reappear, as a matter of fact, on the tiles later on. I show you some examples. This is a tile dating to the 17th century with children playing ball. This is an interesting tile also dating to 17th century with uh, two boys playing with a blowing tube which is very interesting since the blowing tube um, is not at all a European uh, artifact but the Dutch found it um, elsewhere on the planet, probably in Southeast Asia. And here we have a nice tile also dating to the 17th century um, with uh, a game which is called Ring Ball or in French Jeu du Mai, a predecessor of croquet. Another example shows two boys playing skittles or nine pins and a very similar representation can be seen on this tile here but this time uh, the boy does not play with pins but with phalanges with finger bones of cattle. These are phalanges. They are very practical, they stand upright and you can easily knock them off. The game is represented on the famous painting by Peter Bruegel in the Art History Museum in Vienna. And I show the detail where you can easily see that the children really knock off finger bones of cattle. As I said, these tiles were still produced in the 19th century and 20th century and here we got two very nice examples of the late 19th century produced in Utrecht. Not all these tiles were produced in Delft but in several um, cities throughout Netherlands. This is from Ravestein in Utrecht, a man and a woman um, playing with uh, paper windmills. And this is an example with two people playing hopscotch. All these representations here, these drawings, um, refer to earlier models of the 17th century. Just uh, the dresses are sometimes modernized, so you, you can clearly see that this is, of course, not 17th century anymore. This is another copy, and this is recent. This is about 20 years old, and you see it's uh, not as sharp as the representations of the 17th century. Um, the making is very different. A boy playing with a whip top. So these tiles were extremely popular so that you find them easily uh, when you travel to the Netherlands. Keep your eyes open. Maybe you find one or the other one uh, in an antiquarian shop or something. And uh, if you want to send it to the Swiss Museum of Games, I would be happy. 
Thank you very much.